Hi everyone, the weather's warming up, so today I've decided we're making popsicles, right? We need to do that. Uh, I'm making them healthy, of course, so we're gonna be using fresh fruits and just fresh everything. We're using coconut milk as well. So when you feed these to your kids, you're gonna feel good about doing that, and you know, you're gonna wanna indulge too. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after this. So to make this recipe, you're gonna need some sort of popsicle mold like I have here. I like the ones where they're individual like this instead of all connected together so you can take one out at a time. And I'll leave a link for you down in the description of the video. Here are the ingredients we're gonna to use today. We're gonna to use some fresh blueberries, some maple syrup, and I've got some coconut milk, vanilla extract, some ground cinnamon, and a nice fresh organic lemon. So we're going to take our coconut milk, our liquids, and we're going to pour it into a I'm measuring cup here because it has a spout and it'll make it easier for me to pour this into the mold uh, once this is ready. So it just makes things easier. Now to our coconut milk, we're going to add some vanilla extract. And I'm doing a little heaping teaspoon there. You saw that. Coconut milk is slightly sweet, and that vanilla is gonna help bring out that sweetness so we don't have to use too much sweetener. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon to that. Now, because the cinnamon didn't blend up very well, it's kind of clumped up, I'm gonna use my little hand little whisker that I just love to use, and that should take care of those little lumps. I really like this little mixer, it does the job. Now I'm gonna take my organic lemon and we're going to zest into this. To get those oils in there, it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna go back in with my mixer. Blend it up and we're good to go. Now we're gonna add maple syrup to taste. So I would start off with a teaspoon or two. Blend it up and then give it a taste. Let's see if it's sweet enough. All right, that's perfect. Okay, time out for the recipe. Now, time for a little chef joke, all right? How many pastry chefs do you need to bake a pie? 3.14. Okay, back to the recipe. Okay, so time for our blueberries. Now you can use any fruit you want, of course. I'm gonna put these into my food processor here, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of maple syrup. And again, just add as much as you need to get it to the right sweetness for you. Now you can pulse this down and make it as smooth as you want it. I like it a little bit chunky, I think. And depending on the fruit you're using, you know, whether it's citrus or whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. Peaches, nectarines, pineapple, whatever you like. Um, you can add as much sweetness as, as you need. Okay, that'll do it. All right, it's time to fill up our little popsicle molds. I'm gonna give my coconut milk here a little stir just to make sure everything's well blended. And then that spout really comes in handy. I'm gonna pour about half of each mold full because I wanna leave room for some fruit. So even though I'm filling these half full first with the coconut milk and then I'm gonna add the, the blueberries and then stir it up, it still tends to separate, just so you know that. So with the blueberries, I'm just going to take a spoon and just spoon it in because that's a lot easier for me. And if I make a, ma a mess, then I'll just wipe up the edges. And these are going to go in the freezer and tomorrow we'll bring them out and we'll show you what they look like. Now we get a blend of the, that blueberry in there with the coconut. And once you get these filled up enough, then we'll go ahead and put the little sticks in. And in the freezer after that they go. Okay, here's our popsicles after being in the freezer for 24 hours overnight 
and I'll show you how we get them out. All right, so we're gonna take one of these, you can see it's all icy, and we're gonna run it under some warm water. That's what you wanna do, just for a few seconds, maybe, you know, whatever it takes really to get it out. So you just kinda run the warm water over that, and then you wanna squeeze it until it releases, and if it doesn't release right away, you just repeat the process. So that's how they look. You can see the, the blueberries here, and then you've got most of the coconut milk down there, but you can stir it up more and blend it more if you want, or you can keep it separate. And remember, you can also uh, increase or decrease this, the maple syrup just to whatever, you, however sweet you like it. These are really good, guys. I hope you give them a try. Nice coconutty flavor. If you like coconut, you're gonna love this. And certainly if you like blueberries, you're gonna love that too. So if you enjoyed my popsicle recipe today and you'd like to try another ice cream, well, I've got one for you, you must try. Right over here, click that link. That is my creamy lemon ice cream. You are gonna love it. It's a flavor that you don't see in the stores or you can't really go out and buy it. So now you can make it at home. Click that link, check it out, and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.